First and foremost, I want to give all glory and reverence to my power, Yahweh. I do so. Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Let's give all glory and praise to the Most High God. Name's only begotten Son, who were ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Um, I just got a real quick reaction to this uh, undisputed video of um, this sister from, um, you know, they got all the ruckus. Uh, um, Angel Reese uh, team um, from LSU who uh, defeated a uh, um, Iowa uh, team, women, women's basketball. You know, um, it's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when we do it, right? Um, how people putting on the memes, you know, um, yeah, I mean, her taunting uh, the girl from Iowa. But when the chick from Iowa taunt people, you know, um, she's a queen. She's heroic. She's, you know, pumping the other team up, type stuff like that. But uh, I want to react to this video because um, uh, Joe Biden wife tried to step in on Monday. Let's touch it. Welcome into Undisputed this morning. We're glad you're with us. I'm Jen Hale, alongside Skip Baylor, Shannon. Oh no boy, or yeah, final it was, snore. It was bad. It was bad. It was not that pretty. <laughs> Watch it. You love, you love the Huskies. Congratulations. Congratulations, Huskies. Right? But mm. uh, uh, uh. It, wasn't, it wasn't the women's college game. That's yeah, for sure. That's for sure. Let's talk about the women's college game. <laughs> Amen, guys. I have never agreed with y'all more. All right. While at the Colorado State Capitol on Monday, the one and only First Lady, Jill Biden, said she wants both the national champion LSU Tigers from Baton Rouge and the runner-up Iowa Hawkeyes to come to the White House. Dr. Biden attended... Now, Joe, now Joe Biden wife, right? Dirty Joe wife, right? Um, This chick, this broad... She won both teams, right? The winner and the loser to come to the White House. When it's only been um, um, a customary thing that the winner, right? Whether it's baseball, football, um, any of these uh, genres of sports, right? Um, that the winner goes there. I mean, not a second place loser that game in person she said she was so impressed with iowa that they deserve an invite to the white house as well as the reigning champs most outstanding player angel reese reacted to the news with a tweet that said a joke with three crying laughing emojis hmm shannon right and it is a joke yeah i mean it, it is a joke because not only um is it not a regular thing for the losing team to go to the White House with, you know, the winning team, but because on social media, I mean, anybody with eyes and understanding can see um, the backlash that the sister um, Angel is getting behind doing the same thing that the, the, uh, this uh, butch looking chick from Iowa um, did. Now, she get demonized for it, but she get praised for it. So, any more eyes can see, yeah, I mean, all what's going on on social media. So, to not uh, bring the temperature down, you want to fan the fire and make the fire even bigger by bringing these losers, right, uh, um, to celebrate with the winners, basically. That's what you basically want to do. What's your reaction to this? I'm gonna be respectful to the first lady, Skip. <laughs> but you know how I want to go, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go as hard as I normally would, especially at her, because I'm gonna be respectful of that position. The presidency is an institution, and his wife is to be respected as I give the president respect. But she need to sit down. What, what, Skip? What is this about? Now, because the people that won, the young ladies that won, look like me. And the people that lost look like her. Now we're going to invite the runner up. Never in the history, Skip, do you know going back, they, this goes back to 1865. Andrew Johnson welcomed the Brooklyn Atlantics and the Washington Na Nationals mm -hmm. amateur club. Mm -hmm. But the first professional baseball team to get invited to the White House, Ulysses S. Grant did it in 1869. Okay. The Cincinnati Red Stockings. That, that's some deep research right yeah. there. 
winners. Never in the history, Skip. That's the part of winning a national championship. That's the part about winning the Super Bowl, the yep. World Series, or the NBA title. Guess what, Skip? We get invited to the White House. Yep. The losers don't get anything. Mm -hmm. This is not a participation award, and that's what's watered down sports in America. Yep. Little Johnny and Little Susie get an award just because they were on the team, yep. although they didn't win anything. All the teams, if you were in the league, you get a trophy. No, winners get a trophy. That's what life is about. You got to win. Skip, I don't get no get. I, what do I get by sitting at home doing absolutely nothing? I don't get a paycheck. I don't get I don't get anything. I don't get the rewards of winning. And yeah. she, and she I just want to put this out there, by the way. Um, the DuPonts, the Rockefellers, right? A lot of these um, Edomite families, they hit, they uh, sit around and do nothing. But when you talk to these coon Sam Bo niggas, you know what I mean? Like, when I'm just uh, joking with uh, dudes, uh, right, if it's not at work or, you know, just going by, you know what I mean? Like, like you know, dang, you know what I mean? You know I mean? Obviously, we can work. Obviously, we can do physical labor. That's not that's not nothing. But I want to kind of be like these dudes. Like, they they nieces, they nephews, they children, right, they grandma. Like, they don't work. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Not just their immediate family. But they whole family like don't work. Yeah, you know I mean, because they got so much blood money. You know what I mean, these sambos be like, well, you know, you know what I mean, you 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 gotta work, man. You, you know what I mean, you got you 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 gotta put put your brick in if you want to try to be something in this society. You know what I mean, like these sambo coons, but they just don't even acknowledge when I put up uh, these Caucasian families who don't work, right? Just to put that out there. She's like, well, give her a break. She doesn't understand. She was in attendance. She was in attendance. She saw what was going on in the arena. <laughs> she knows the backdrop of this story. The number one trending topic. What was, Skip? It wasn't that LSU won. It was Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Yep. And so she, she's a doctor. If she didn't know, she should have known mm. before she opened her mouth and blurted this dumb scenario out mm. because they played hard. Skip, everybody plays hard. Yeah. But you get rewarded by winning this. In 2016, there was a, it's been out for a long time, Skip. They said optics. How do things yeah. look? Mm -hmm. Does Dr. Jill Biden understand how this looks? She? White America? Yeah. The losing side mm -hmm. is white America? Yeah. And she's like, you know what? Since the black, the black, come on, Dr. Biden, mm. you know better than this. Mm. Did you forget who helped put your husband in the White House? You're going to find out a very serious, hard lesson in 24. Mm. You'll be like a Kentucky or Duke freshman. You'll be one and done. Mm. Right. And um, her husband is the one that said uh, um, to, who is it? Uh, Charlemagne. Let's <coughs> lock it. I said to Charlemagne, um, you know, uh, that y'all are not black if y'all don't vote for me. Yeah, I mean, why? Because just like that last video that I put out um, with, uh, who was he? Lyndon B. Johnson, um, the old president. We'll get these niggas to vote Democrat for the next 200 years, right? So they look at it like, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, <laughs> The plan is still in effect. You know what I mean? So, y'all niggas is anti black if y'all don't both vote for J Joe Biden. Right? And most of our people ran out there and, and ran and voted for him. You know what I mean? Try to play like they didn't, but they ran out and voted for him. Now, play with it if you want to. Now, you try to appeal to a certain group that don't give a you know what about your husband, that every chance they get. You see how popular you are? Mm -hmm. You see how popular your husband is? Yeah. I tell you what, he'll drop another 5% if he do this. Mm -hmm. um, mm, interesting. Mr. President, I know you love your wife, and you should. But on this one, don't you listen to your wife in the bike hour mm. because they're undeserving. Mm. This was about winning. When you win as a... And Skip, they, normally they have them all. If you, yeah. They have all the college athletes come at one time. They, mm -hmm. You know, swimming and track and field and this one and that one. Skip, 
So what now? So our gets to go. I just want Dr. Biden to tell me why she wants to invite our. Mm -hmm. And all the runner-ups in the history has never been invited. So yeah. what makes her? What makes our so unique? Mm -hmm. What makes them so different? Mm. Is it because they're the little darlings and they look like you? Mm. Is that because they started five white girls? Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying the optics yeah. look really, really bad, Dr. Yeah. Biden. So, Shannon Sharp, I will begin with a reference that you won't know to a 60s song <laughs> I like by a group that I didn't really love. The group was The Who. The song was called Won't Get Fooled Again. And the last <laughs> lines are, meet the new boss, same as the old boss. <laughs> and I'm not going to go quite that far. I'm not even a political animal. But this smacked of, wait, we just left that behind, we thought. And now we're back to this yes. from our first lady. Okay. Uh, I... <laughs> I only watched a little bit of Shannon Sharp uh, part. Um, I mean, I didn't see the boy uh, Bella's part, um, but that's actually pretty funny. Uh, what he just said, what he, what he just says that we just left that talking about Trump, you know, who was supposed to be known uh, races and you know all this stuff. Like, so he's basically saying that we left this and it's supposed to get something different with you. You know, a champion for black people. Listen, everybody flocked to their own kind, right? So it's only natural for uh, Jill Biden to, you know, feel some way. You know what I mean, you know what I mean, and want and want her her people to get props. You know what I mean, it's only natural. You know what I mean, because it's only natural to like your own, right? To drink water from your own cisterns, right? And I'm going to be slightly more disrespectful to the first lady than you were because this is so wrong on so many levels that it's close to being a Saturday Night Live skit. It's so bad. It, it's it's so sad. It's funny sad. Yeah. It's going to be a skit. It's going to be a skit. They might just leave the show with it yeah. on Saturday night. Yeah. Are they live this Saturday? I've lost yeah. touch. But... <sighs> okay. The first thing that is so wrong, to your point, is that she says... I'm going to tell Joe, I think Iowa should come too because they played such a good game. No, they got their butts kicked. Yes, they got their butts kicked. Alexis Morris in the second half, go look at the numbers. She outplayed Caitlin Clark on both ends of the floor. She defended her at a high level and she outshot her on the offensive end. Yes. Go look it up. I thought she was the most valuable player on the floor on that day. No disrespect to Angel Reese who got the MOP. Right. But listen, without Alexis Morris, right. for that matter, without Jasmine making those five threes Freedom. in the first half, yes. we might be having a different story. But from start to finish, LSU controlled the basketball game. The happy, sad part of what we're talking about is that game went through the ratings roof. That game was the most watched women's basketball game in history. Right. It might have beat the men's game last night. Oh, I haven't heard yet, but, but it, sh it should have. And I told you going into this that I was far more interested in the women's Final Four than this year's men's Final Correct. Four. Yes. And it did prove true. And there is some harking back to what I witnessed firsthand. I was in the front row of press row in 1979 in Salt Lake City when it was Magic Johnson against Larry Bird. And it worked for America because, wait a second, America had a great white, not hype, but hope. Yes. Because Larry Bird looked like, oh, he could be legit. Yes. And he proved to be very he, legit exactly. pro basketball. Oh, he definitely wasn't hype. He was not hype. He was hope. He was okay. He was real. And he was the realest white American player we've ever seen. And it ain't even close. No, we, close. We've never seen a men's player, even in his constellation. No. Right? Everything yes. is black, white, black, white, black, right. white. And it will sell. That's why Conor McGregor versus... Floyd. Floyd was it, it just went through the roof right. because it's a little white guy against a little black guy, right? Yep. And it worked. Yep. And it was I I loved it. It it was worth the price of admission, even though Floyd hung in I mean sorry, Connor hung in there and finally lost to Floyd. But this this was not close. And in the end, because this was such a ratings bonanza. It felt like women's basketball had arrived yes. 
that that again it's about equality and parity and i think the women have earned the right to be treated just like the men right so you don't need to pat the iowa women on right. the head and say oh you poor girls why right. did you come to the white house too right it, to your point it's not a participation award well, anymore well, if that's the case you should have invited the Bengals. <laughs> the Bengals should have went to the White House with the Rams because they played a great game. Okay. And whoever uh, uh, and the Celtics, they should have came with, or, with the Warriors. Or the Eagles last yes. year with the Kansas City. Okay, we could go on and on, but that's not what the Iowa girls deserve any more than the LSU girls deserve. Right. Because, in, in effect, she is pouring gasoline yes. on a fire that has raged on Twitter and other social media platforms mm -hmm. since that flashpoint moment in which Angel Reese, quote unquote, taunted Caitlin Clark. I had no problem with it because Caitlin Clark will taunt you back. Exactly. And it's just, it's it's showing that the women have arrived yes. and they should be treated just like the men right. are treated. Right. Well, now you, you can read into this, is Jill Biden, d does she feel sorry for Caitlin because Angel Reese taunted her? Oh, the poor girl. We should bring her to the White House. She feels sorry for uh, uh, Caitlin Clark. Looks like her. Okay. Well, they, they never. Okay. They never feel. They never feel sorry for us. For us. Uh, no, no. I mean, we we don't we don't get sympathy. We got. Hey, come on, grow up. Facts. Pull yourself up by the bootstrap. Somebody offends us. They're just words. Did you hear what Angel Reese said to Caitlin Clark? I yeah. thought they were just words. Mm. See, they're just words when they spew that to us. It's yeah. just. Be tough. Why? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never harm me. Yep. Now, if words get uttered to somebody that look like them, did you hear what she said? How could she? Come on, Dr. Jill. Mm -hmm. You know better than this. You're fanning the flames. You are You already said it's a five alarm, and you just dumped a 55-gallon drum of gasoline on it. She did. <sighs> It does. It feels like she feels sorry for the poor little white girls. Yes. That's how it comes across to me. Nancy Armour wrote a great piece about this in today's USA Today, just posted just before the show. These are the moments you live. Yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much it on that story. <laughs> right, so, I mean, we see... So we can see though that you know what I mean like that's what it's about like you know what I mean it's all about you know what I mean you know it's all about the uplifting of a uh, you know yeah you know I mean my people and the downfall of the Israelites that's what these heathens all these heathens uh, care about I'm pretty sure she would feel that way. If it was a a team of uh, uh, East Indians, right, versus Israelites, but um, um, I think this came out on Monday, if I'm not mistaken, Monday or yesterday. Today is Wednesday, but um, as of now, when I look um, uh, at news, it looked like she uh, took that statement back. And um, Iowa is not uh, is not going to the White House, just the uh, champs as it should be, as it's, as it always been, right? So yeah, I mean, this was just my reaction to this video, you know. All praise to the Most High God, wisdom and understanding come from Him and Him alone. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, brothers and sisters, edified. Till the next time, I say shalom.